Hey, my name is Ben Selstrom. I am in my attic and I'm in the process of wiring and I'm labeling my wires and I forgot to mark where these wires went before I had the spray foam done in here. So I had to figure out where they're going and I thought this was a good time to show you just really simply how a continuity test works. So uh, basically I need to know where which one of those sets of wires goes over to this box right here. So all I've done is I've chosen the white wire here, put a wire nut on it, on a little extension piece here. And now coming over to my box, in order to figure out which wire is which, all I have to do is put my electrical tester in continuity mode so that it can test for a circuit, this is a piece of metal here, and put one terminal on here it's going to be interesting. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. What I'll do is I'll take this cap off of here and wrap this around. Okay. So the connection is good. Like that. So that's just hanging on there. there. And up here, it's either going to be this set or this set. I know that this set is coming from over there, so there shouldn't be continuity there. So I'm kind of guessing it'd be this one, so we'll see if we're right. And incorrect. Let's try this one. Boom. All right. So this set of wires goes over there. This one goes over there. This one goes over there. Just kind of pointing them towards their respective boxes. That's how you do a continuity test to trace a wire where it goes and comes from. And you can use this all sorts of places. It's very useful. Talk to you in the next video.